just arrived. <laughs> just arrived in Paris. I am excited to be here. We were here for a tour, and doesn't seem like that was very long ago. Oh, that was a long, month. A month ago, but the weather is so nice. I think it's. Let me see. It's like, it's like 65. 60. Really? Right yeah. now, and it's like 6:30. So I don't know <laughs> what the degree is. <laughs> Let's not be too specific. <laughs> Let's in Celsius. So yeah, I have two meetings right now, and I just got my. Um, there's a Dior dinner invite here. I'm going to get my picks for the show on Tuesday. That's kind of like my big excitement right now because that's like the first, the very first couple events from after getting in. I'm getting my nails fixed because Kisa, who I always go to in LA, she comes over because New York and then I went to London. We didn't have time to do it in between and I thought they would last, but my nails have been growing so much. So I just found a uh, you know, salon that has good reviews, so it's just hard because I have hard gel, so it's a little bit different than acrylics. It's a little bit different of a takeoff procedure. So when we were going to find out a nail salon for Brittany to get her nails done, I noticed this spa place right behind me. And anytime I can have pho, I'm going to take advantage of it because I love pho. It's, it's almost sickening. I can eat it every day. So now I'm off to Starbucks. I know how American that sounds, but here in Starbucks, they have a chocolate donut that is just, oh, heaven. I got your donuts. I think they need a Starbucks donut. It's so bizarre because I don't even eat Starbucks in the States, but for some reason the donut they have in Paris is so good. So it's my first official morning in Paris, and I realize that there's an American plug or a U.S. plug over by the desk, so I bring this Ricky light with me everywhere. Sometimes hotels, bathrooms don't have great light, so this is nice because, see, I can make it brighter to do my makeup. Sometimes it's blinding. It's really nice. And then you can turn it off. But it's really flat, too, so I don't know what this is for, though, but... This worked <laughs> out. <laughs> so we're gonna do a couple of fittings for Jack Moose and Kenzo. Kenzo. Yeah, what else is on the schedule? So I'm not really like getting super dressed up. I'm just gonna wear something I would wear for a meeting, which is guess what? A blazer. I think this one is from Zara. Yeah, oh no top man. But it's Yeah, that's my blazer. <laughs> I wear this one all the time. I love it so much. But it's a men's I love men's blazers from Topshop or Top Man or Zara men. I rarely buy women's blazers anymore. So I have my Jacques Mousse invite. It's so cute. I'm dead. <laughs> so I really think we have an issue. It's day two in Paris and how many donuts did we get? <laughs> we are getting ready for the Dior show and halfway through my hair I realized I had to shoot something else and so Britt had to start over. <laughs> we did a quick change, so right, we're really putting our tools to use. <laughs> we basically did a run through for 10 other looks. <laughs> Can't so the brand. she has a ton of things to shoot today. So we wanted something that was going to be versatile. So we just straightened with a little kick, but then we dressed it up with a headband and we added her little Dior brooch onto the headband. So it's like a yeah. really easy way to dress things up. Just add a pin or a brooch to your headband. It's cute. Okay, Brett. So okay. tell us, tell us a little bit of your backstage, any tips? Well, I feel like I'm talking too much in this video already, but um, <laughs> since you kidding. asked. <laughs> Did she just pull that out of her pocket? I keep it in my kit. <laughs> Thanks for asking, Anthony. But really, I don't want the straightener to get too hot.
so pretty. So this season in Paris, we didn't think a car would be necessary because we have a little bit of gaps in our schedule, and today we've had a quick change. So Anthony being such a trooper and holding it from the outside while we shoot. <laughs> Friday, Paris time, but I think the time is just like, oh, did I get my own pizza? <laughs> yeah. Um, that one looks better though with the broad on it. I guess I won't pick off yours. Um, but this is like the first night that we've had that we don't actually have to be at anything late. There's an after party at one of the things tomorrow that we're gonna go to, so we're gonna save up our energy and bring the most chili oil. You unloaded the whole packet. <laughs> Did you get more? No. Are you ready for the Chanel show this morning? And what's happening with my hair? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're still figuring it out, but sure. I think something back is nice. Yeah. Number here. Hi. Do you love the single? Oh yeah, that's really helpful. Every time. It's like, hey, okay, let's always show their double <laughs> Every time. So we wanted something with super clean sculpted skin and just really bright eyes. So we wanted to do like a starry eyed situation with a I clean look that's transitional for all three shows too. Yeah. Oh, that was just such good so narrating. Good. <laughs> <laughs> look who showed up for Chanel. I mean, hey, I had hey. to, right? Yes. You gotta show our respect. <laughs> to the Chanel show. This season it is the theme of In the Snow. So I'm really excited to see. Last season it was the beach. So I'm a little shivering now. I'm kind of cool. <laughs> I'm wearing a jumpsuit that is trying to be very casual and then with the earrings it's really popping out. Hey, 
you guys, this is Brittany Xavier. I am taking over the V Magazine account today for the Mew Mew Show. And first up, I'm wearing this incredible look from the runway. Just got to Mew Mew, I'm about to head in, but I wanted to show you guys this bag. Of course, Mew Mew. Look at this gorgeous invite. Obsessed. Thoughts on the show space? I love the show space, especially because ever since I saw the whole following turn on Instagram and her photos, they just got a film camera and they're super inspired by her. So, the show set, first of all, was so cool. There's an artist that I follow on Instagram that did the whole campaign. She shoots everything in film, and I'll link it here for you guys because I'm always so inspired by her photos. So, she did the whole set design and all the campaign photos for it. Obsessed with the accessories in the collection, the shoes, the sunglasses, and all the strong looks for an independent woman. I really love the hair too. The hair was super cool, print, very full, and so many beauty inspiration. This has been a day of firsts for me, my first Mew Mew show, and this is going to be my first Louis Vuitton show. Just did a change from my Mew Mew outfit. I am on my way to Louis Vuitton. Bag I'm obsessed with in the collection. And my sneakers, of course. And I cannot wait to see just everything. I don't even know what to expect. I know it's at the Louvre, but I'm not sure how the set design is going to be inside. I'm sure it's going to be amazing based on what I saw from photos last year, last season. <laughs> <laughs> try to gallop. It's just a very awkward horse kick. I think she's excited because we're going home after two months. After two months, every time. <laughs> 18 days, 26 hours. <laughs> My bath is off, I'm tired. Good night. Is it a little early for you? So I was like all on Janie to photo with her. <laughs> This is so cute. Jada made us this welcome home situation. We missed you and <laughs> the dog signed it. 